Ahoy crew, my name is Brandon Hubner. I'm your host here on the Maritime History Podcast. Thank you for dipping your toes in the water, so to speak, by giving this introduction episode a shot. Now, I'm assuming that you have at least a passing degree of interest in maritime history to have made the choice to click play today. So if you'll allow me just for the next few minutes... I'd like to briefly explain why I think each of us could do with at least a slightly better understanding of maritime history so that we can more fully appreciate all the other facets of world history in the greater sense. Now, I do realize that if you hear the term maritime history just thrown out there in isolation, it might sound like a bit of a narrow topic. Realistically speaking, though, the ocean is very tightly connected with many of the events that are seen as highlights of history. If you take a maritime trade and exploration, for instance, these were both driving forces in mankind's development and expansion for centuries, really millennia. Then each of those two broad topics contains within it numerous related subtopics, Then you have things like naval warfare, you have ship building and design, you have sea navigation, maritime trade and economics, countless other topics beyond this. So, as you can tell, rather than lean toward a narrow view of what constitutes maritime history, on this podcast we try to be as inclusive as we can. That is, however, without crossing the line, and becoming just a pure world history. I would say that it's gone pretty well so far, although our focus on those many details has slowed us down a little bit, but I think at the same time it has enriched our understanding of how the ancient world developed especially. One main goal of the podcast is to look at primary sources as much as we can, And this is because they help us get a view of the past from the perspectives and in the voices of the people who lived it. We also take a look at the remaining and so far discovered physical and pictorial artifacts that are connected with ships, boats, sailing, really all maritime activity. These things aren't enough in and of themselves, though, so to help flesh out the story, And to tie everything together, we do also look at commentary from modern historians. We try to put everything in context. We also look at the most recent archaeological discoveries and the theories that are out there. You more than likely know that this is how the history sausage is made, though. Unless, I suppose, this is your first foray into history podcasting. If it is, well, welcome, and I hope you will remain on board here for the duration. I should mention, though, that there are many other quality history podcasts out there that cover just about every topic you could imagine, and if there's a topic that you feel is missing, then you can always just start your own. Anyways, feel free to check out the website for this podcast if you are interested in seeing some of my recommendations for other good podcasts to listen to. Let's get back to this one, though, and here is a brief overview of what you can expect to hear and to learn as we move through a chronological look at maritime history. Now, at the time that I am recording this introduction, the podcast has completed an entire first season which was made up of 20 episodes, all of which covered the maritime history of the Bronze Age world. We are well through a second season at this stage, and we will get to that in a moment. Season 1, though, covered the regions of Mesopotamia, Egypt, the Indus River Valley, the Levant, and then the emergence of the Aegean world in the Bronze Age, All of these places played a role in the story. On a very broad level, we have focused on archaeological artifacts, 
boat models that were found in various tombs and graves, especially in Egypt. We've also looked at the remains of entire boats and ships, shipwrecks. And we've looked at all of these in conjunction with artistic depictions of ships from each of these cultures. There's a lot more evidence out there than you might have realized. And then that is all before we got into a discussion of the infamous Sea Peoples and the Late Bronze Age Collapse. Then on top of all that, mythology was a focus at times. It factored in because, well, ships were central to the Homeric epics, if you'll recall, and ships and boats also have a place in the religious mindset and the religious symbolism of Sumeria and Egypt in particular. If you're interested in a more detailed summary of Season 1 before you dive in, I did a recap episode that aired right before Season 2, so you can find that in between Episodes 20 and 21. If you know pretty assuredly that you love history and stuff that sails on the ocean or on the rivers, maybe just go ahead and dive right into Episode 1 and see where the voyage took us back there. Now, as I'm recording this intro, and as I mentioned, we're also quite far into Season 2. Season 1 was heavy on dates and on archaeology, on some of the broad strokes of distant ancient history so that we could put our discussion in context. And that was just by necessity, because we didn't have a ton of primary sources that could help give us, well, narrative-filled stories. In Season 2, those stories begin to take a little more shape, as we can now look in depth at the Phoenicians, a culture that I think gets short shrift in some discussions of ancient history. The Phoenicians were the first to use the Mediterranean to its full potential. They developed ships, they developed full-scale maritime commerce, colony building, and then the advances that go along with those civilizational advances, I suppose, they invented things like writing with an alphabet, and there were systemic changes to their government to help foster the maritime growth and the maritime culture that was a central part of their civilization. We've also pretty deeply considered the rise of ancient Greece and the developments in their society that eventually led to the navy that was helmed by Themistocles, and then the Greek naval conflicts with Persia and eventually with other Greek city-states. That's where things stand currently, anyways, but we're continuing to build on the story all the time. So take a look if you're interested in where we've gotten since I recorded this intro. To close this out, I'm going to share a little background about the podcast and then about myself if you're interested in those topics at all. So how did this podcast come into being? Well, I got into history podcasting a while ago. Um, I got deep into listening to them all the time and looking for new topics, seeing what kind of podcasts were out there. Now, I've always loved the ocean. I've always loved ships. Pirates were actually a juvenile fascination of mine, and I can still picture the books and the movies that I poured over back in the day, but I digress. The bottom line is that as I was listening to all of these other history podcasts that maybe devoted an episode here or there to maritime topics it dawned on me that there wasn't a podcast out there that focused on these things exclusively. So I decided that I would give it my best shot, that I'd learn about how exactly to make a podcast as I went, and that I would fill in the gaps in my knowledge as we went along also. 40 plus episodes later, here we are. I would imagine that you'll notice some of those early episodes were a little bit rough. I have, however, learned a lot over the course of time, and the podcast has become a bit more fluid, especially in the later episodes. 
Now, if you have any particular topic that is of special interest to you personally, please reach out to me, ask if we've covered it already and where that might be, or ask if I have plans to cover things in the future. I've even gone out of my way to incorporate topics that I didn't necessarily plan on just because listeners ask me to include them. At the top of every new episode, I do try to recap what we discussed in the previous episode. So if you decide to just jump in wherever, it shouldn't be too blindly. I try to put a little context there to keep the story flowing right along. Finally today, um, just a little bit about myself. I have a bachelor's degree in history, and then I picked up a JD after that, so right now... By day, I'm working as a somewhat reluctant attorney, and then all of this podcasting, research, writing, all that stuff happens at nighttime or in the spare moments. That does mean that I'm not a credentialed or deeply trained historian. What I am is somebody who enjoys trying to tell a good story by weaving what we have discovered about the past into an engaging narrative. I do also try to fit in as much academic detail as I can, and I do that by reading journal articles, studies, papers, stacks of books, to be honest. The bottom line there is that if you're looking for something that is pure entertainment, you might find this podcast a little bit dry at times. If you're looking for something that has stretches of entertainment and narrative, but is counterbalanced with deep analysis and a discussion of particulars and nuance, well, you might be in luck with this podcast. Feel free to pull up alongside our ship of podcast and come aboard, if you will. If you're interested in checking out our website, you can find a lot more information about the podcast at MaritimeHistoryPodcast.com. There are images, um, maps, further reading and source material for each episode that has been put together. You can find links to a lot of sources there so you don't have to go hunting things down on your own. On the website, you will also find information about becoming a crew member and gaining access to our member-only podcast with, I think we're on 13 episodes now that are available exclusively to crew members, Some of those are standalone stories that don't fit at all with the main podcast narrative. Some of them are deeper dives into discussions that didn't make it onto the main podcast. Do check out the website if you're interested in learning more or in getting in touch with me. Until next time, everyone, thanks for listening to this intro. I hope you'll stick around and see what else we bring to the table. For now, though, fair winds and following seas to you, wherever you might be headed. Thanks for listening to the Maritime History Podcast.